Right, you're watching <laughs> Force 13's live streaming service. Hello and welcome to Tropical uh, Storm Update number three. Uh, we're talking about the newly uh, recently upgraded uh, Tropical Depression 2, which is now Tropical Storm Bonnie. And, and more recently, uh, Bonnie is a bit stronger and still a main threat for rainfall and gusty winds on coastal South Carolina. As of the 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time update uh, for Saturday, May 28th, location 31.0 degrees north, 79.5 degrees west. Currently, the storm is stationary with a minimum pressure of 10.08 millibars with a maximum sustained winds of 45 miles per hour. Uh, there is indeed a tropical... Hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm going to go back to the page. Okay, we'll start from scratch, I'm assuming. Uh, okay, okay. Um, all right, welcome uh, to this uh, tropical update number three on our second uh, storm of the season, uh, which has recently been upgraded to tropical storm Bonnie. Uh, even in more recent times, Bonnie is a bit stronger and still a main threat uh, for heavy rainfall and gusty winds for along coastal South Carolina. Uh, as of the 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time ad advisory, uh, current location is 31.0 north, 79.5 west, uh, or about uh, 120 miles southeast of Beaufort, South Carolina, or 130 miles south-southeast of Charleston, South Carolina. Maximum sustained winds are 45 miles per hour. Uh, currently, the storm is stationary, minimum central pressure of 10 of 8 millibars. Uh, there are uh, warnings for South Carolina, as expected, uh, from uh, Savannah River to Little River Inlet of South Carolina. Uh, so, um, the total effects, uh, rainfall uh, for Bonnie is expected to produce total rainfall accumulations of 2 to 4 inches, but maximum amounts around 6 inches from central uh, and eastern South Carolina to the Georgia border. Rainfall accumulations of 1 to 3 inches are expected across southeastern North Carolina. Winds, tropical storm conditions are expected to first reach the coast within the warning area overnight or early Sunday. Storm surge inundation of one to two feet above ground level is possible within the tropical storm warning area during the next high tide on Sunday morning. Uh, Bonnie is expected to use life-threatening surf and rip currents conditions along portions of the southeastern United States coast through the weekend. Please consult uh, products from local weather office. Uh, also, isolated tornadoes will be possible late tonight and early Sunday over the immediate South Carolina coastal region. Uh, next uh, official advisory from the next NA, from the NHC is at 2 a.m. and that is the intermediary advisory with the complete advisory at 5 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. All right. Okay. Uh, thanks for that, uh, Adam. Uh, 
John, uh, uh, what do you have? Um, I'm trying to find where I was. Here we go. Um, so want me to go look at the floater imagery right now? Uh, yes. Um, floater imagery. All right, let's go to the floater imagery. Here is the rainbow color imagery root with, loop with sea surface temperatures. Um, you can definitely see that there is some convection definitely building near this low-level circulation center of Bonnie right now. In fact, let me refresh the satellite feed. We have a new image in it seems, and as we can see here, it is definitely getting a bit more prevent the eye wall or, or I mean, the thunderstorms around the low-level circulation center are getting a bit more. Um, active per se. In fact, I think that there's going to be some more thunderstorm building near the LOC by, I'd say we'll probably have a good deal of thunderstorm activity by a few more hours even, just watching this system. Um, you might wonder, it looks like it's making a jog to the north here. It's not making a jog to the north, this is just a little bit of a wiggle. Um, storms do wiggle, it's still technically stationary, even though it did make a little wiggle to the north per se, but that's all it did. I mean, Wiggles are only just small changes in direction. It made a wiggle to the south southwest earlier today, but southwest southwest sorry earlier today. But that wiggle is no longer one of concern. So if you look here at the here's the water vapor imagery, we can definitely see that there is um, it's keeping it's actually pretty moist air in the circulation. Um, there is a pocket of drier air over here, but it really isn't a big concern because it seems that the system is still pumping out thunderstorm activity. If you can see the cell right over here, let me refresh the imagery for all our viewers at home. Um, you can definitely see over here, you can definitely see the, uh, um, let me clear that, definitely see that there is some thunderstorm activity forming over here somewhere. That's good news, I'm assuming. So, yeah. Um, if you look at the RGB floater, um, give me a second. It looks like that this system is still keeping its act together. Um, and it could be in for some strange thing, but I'm not going to confirm any of that. Um, let's tossed over to David if he has any thoughts on this system. David. Uh, thanks, uh, John. Uh, what else have we got uh, to uh, bring up? Uh, the possible tracks, uh, the, uh, you got the Tibbet, uh, the Tibbet's one. Uh-oh. Hello? Uh, uh, yes, John, I think... Something happened. You can hear me? Yeah, something happened. Uh, my camera must have glitched out or something. That's a lot. Uh, live hiccups, they happen. Um, yeah, it's, once again, are we still feeding imagery to the screen? Uh, Lame my internet. That's all I'm going to say. Blame my internet. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop whining about it. Uh, we can take a look. Do you want me to take a look at the track guidance or the wind shear? Uh, we'll have a look at the wind shear. Wind shear around the system um, is, in fact, on a slight increase. There's a system right here for your reference. In fact, I'm going to try a different color because, you know, colors... Uh, I think we'll try a white, no, uh, I can't make a choice on live air, uh, screw it, we're gonna use a gray color, it'll do, alright, I can't even see that, uh, I'm sorry folks, I have this new tool, I wanna use it so bad, alright, I'm just gonna have to stick with, uh, white's fine, um, here we go, here's the system right here, um, you can definitely see that there's definitely shares on the increase around this system. Um, I'm going to try a thicker line. And definitely see the values here going up. This is only a slight increase. 
Um, the system is sitting within about 20 knots here, per se. Yeah, I'd say about 20 knot. There we go. 20 knot shear, and the shear is the shear forecast is hard to make out. I'm not sure what the shear is going to do, but we'll soon find out. Um, any developing holes in the shear? Uh, not really. The shear is still pretty strong over the Caribbean, if you notice here. That's still some pretty strong shear. But that is the shear report. So let's throw it back to Mr. Tones. Uh, can you bring up the uh, the track for Bonnie? 